Northern Youth Leaders Forum has accused President Bola Tinubu of favoring the southern parts of the country over the north in his appointments. Addressing journalists in Abeokuta, National President Elias Afiyo said President Tinubu had carried out the most lopsided appointment since Nigeria gained independence in 1960. Afiyo noted that Tinubu has taken the bar of lopsided appointments in much higher than that of his predecessor, Muhammad Buhari. He argued that Buhari created a lopsided appointment gap of 80 to 20 for the North and the South during his administration. He urged Tinubu to bridge the widening gap as the country must not continue in this great era. In his words, since independence, when we took at when we look at the appointments by Tafawa Balewa, you will agree with me that it was 40 CC, North, South, and subsequent appointments by General Yakubu Gowan was trying to narrow the gap. And even in the democratic setting in 1999, under the leadership of President Olushe Gumoba Sonjo, that is why I always say he is my father because he has a nationalistic thinking. But Buhari came in and created the gap to be 2080. And even the Northerners the, that they were saying that Buhari appointed were, the, were not for the Northerners per se. There were a few clicks. The North itself didn't even benefit from his. But we are now saying the appointment by President Tinubu are tilting towards the Southwest. He narrowed the gap that Buhari created. But the gap is creating now is also widening. I would say Northerners don't have the right to complain that the appointments or placements are lopsided. We don't have the right to complain. But as an advanced citizen, I ask, can we continue like this? If we get an Igbo president, if we appoint Igbos, <laughs> where are we going as a nation? So there is a need for us to balance it, he added, now today. You see that uh, these guys are not concerned. <laughs> they are not concerned about the, the way and manner Tinubu is running the country. Does Tinubu is in the first place? Does he qualify to be Nigeria president? No, all of them are not saying anything. The reason why they have been quiet now is because they, is, they want appointments, one appointment or the other. So once they get the appointment, the rest of you, you can enter whatever, wherever you want to enter. You can do whatever you want to do. It's none of their business. You just we, we just talked about a uh, Asari Dokubo and this one is coming out. So if they are giving appointments now, everybody they will just forget you. And what what is the percentage of those who are get who are going to get the appointment? It's not going to be up to zero point one percent. So what happened to the ninety nine percent plus? What happens to them? They don't care. It's still all about selfishness. You see all of them. See the way they are disgracing and embarrassing themselves. Nigerians are suffering in the recent. If we want to look at this whole thing. I'm always making this analogy about uh, all these uh, people where they jack so People where they jack they know they ever think, uh, say, where they jack they go. Not be my, even, not be even black person, say, when I be president, not talk or say, uh, for my region or for my whatever. People don't care because they know that the most important thing is their welfare. But in Nigeria, even the welfare is not even being talked about. Everything must be, you know, must seem to be balanced. These guys are not concerned about uh, the, 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 the hardship. No, 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 no. And I don't even know, because we are going to be balancing it. Of course, the issue of uh, lopsided is not even the issue. But the another thing is that how many people, because those who are going to be getting the appointment, they are going, it's going to benefit their immediate family. It's going to be their own immediate family, not even extended family, let alone the community. So, what you are supposed to be talking about if you are talking about the two things side by side the appointments and also the 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 the, the state of the nation it would have been better <laughs> why this fuse buari did the same when he was the president the fact is that nigeria is not a federal country but a tribal country yes anyone who is a uh, uh, opportunity to become the president will become a tribal president. For me, since it has been the culture of the Nigeria system, I think Nigeria should be divided into three. They don't still want the same thing to happen. Okay, Buhari did the same thing, but you guys enjoyed it. There is advantage in what Buhari did. Akwabio did it 
in Akwaibon during his tenure as governor by turning his village into a modern city. Same with late Ambassador Idem. The results? Every sitting governor has done same now and the benefit among others is that Akwaibom is uniformly being developed. So Buari, so Buari did. Now Tinumbu, then Anigboma, then South South Man and so on. What is this one saying? Dividend of democracy is divided in ratios in all ramifications of the country or the economy. Whoever is in the leadership position of the country, the highest allocation of resources goes to the north, allow, followed by the west and subsequently the east, as they are the three ethnic groups in the nine, in the country in that order. Only after that, the, that we can think of the minority in the country. <laughs> Let the balance start from the north anytime power shifted if you aware nigeria is not a country but a committee of nations struggling to live together as one restructuring is the only solution these are the ways divide nigeria and uh, restructure nigeria they don't want to hear it even those who are eating from from the cookie jar from southeast they don't want it or everyone who is benefiting will not they will not want to hear about a uh, what is it called restructuring or division of the country See Tinubu was crying all this, all this why? It's restructuring, no? restructuring. No? no, are you hearing him saying anything about that? Best second base, Joe.